The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle with your hosts, Nico and Ellen DeHaan. Now, Nico and Ellen DeHaan. Good morning, I'm Nico DeHaan, and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced and natural wild world. To recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms, good morning, I'm Ellen DeHaan. It's a beautiful morning in downtown St. Petersburg, 64 degrees, a little haze in the air. It's going to go up to 81, so it's going to be a beautiful day. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I'd like to remind you of a couple things, folks. Uh, our Primal Edge, a one-shot wonder, over 310 organic cell-ready liquid ingredients. This is uh, here to make you healthy and ha is full of fulvic and humic acid to get the good stuff in. And let the bad stuff out of those cells. That's right. And we have the Health Signals newsletter. You know, the uh, Health Signals newsletter covers all the topics that we talk about, so you can make up your own mind. It's $10 a month, so it's $5 an issue. Of course, the Primal Edge is $89 a month. And today, I want to talk, well, the number here is 877-927-6648. Good morning, baby. Good morning. How are you doing? I don't know. It's been a hectic few weeks. Yes, it has been. That's for sure. we got a lot of things going on. But, uh, you know, in the last few weeks, we've been talking about health uh, in the way of diet and lifestyle kind of thing. And I wanted to go more towards the exercise today uh -huh. because uh, I think primitive man pretty much probably didn't do an exercise routine of any kind. Oh, no. They probably just lived, and their basic living is what was the exercise for them. So that was gathering food, building and maintaining your shelter, taking care of your kids. Short bursts of running. Short bursts of running <laughs> away and running towards, right. and uh, probably having fun, too, maybe dancing, things mm -hmm. like that. I, mm -hmm. I always think of, you know, around the campfire, what do you do? Well, it's, it's the only light around. You sit and you huddle, and you uh, take care of everybody there, and you have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's an important thing. And I think part of exercise is having fun. It's, uh, you know, when I uh, moved to Florida, I was about 30 years old and I started running because that was the craze back in the uh -huh. 70s. Uh -huh. So uh, I just was conscious of exercise and I've always been kind of towards that. But I'd never had a specific exercise routine until then, really. I'd done some sports and things like that. So you learn, if you're running track, you learn certain stretches and you learn how to do those things. If you're playing football, you learn certain things and hockey and things like that. I didn't do a lot of those things. I ran track for a while and I did a few sports, uh, mostly just in-house type of thing. But uh, when I started running, I noticed the aches and the pains and things like that. And I noticed that, you know, you had to do it slowly first and you couldn't do much and then you know, as things go on, you get to do be better, and pretty soon you're running six or eight miles or ten miles, and you're astounded. How can I do this, you know? So I thought we'd start with the basics uh, of what everybody should be doing. You know, there's a certain standard that people have come up with. And in the fitness world, there's all kinds of things going on. I mean, we ha you have these uh, companies that, you know, you go into a gym, and you have all these machineries there. You may know how to use it. You may not know how to use it. Uh, there's a little guidance there. But certainly today we have YouTube, we have a lot of things we can tap uh -huh. into to figure out how to do exercise. But let's start with this exercise, uh, and this is called Basic Movements Primal Health Fit. And this comes from PrimalHealthFit.com. And it starts with the basic exercise really everybody knows is the push-ups. So here's a picture of a gal doing a push-up. And they have some instructions on here basically saying that, uh, whoops. Where did I get here? This right here. So push up, start in the plank position. Make sure your butt is not high in the air. Bend your arms. Keep your elbows in. Actually, you can keep your elbows out too. There's different ways of doing this. Keeping your elbows in uh, exercises the triceps a little bit more. If you have your elbows out, now you're doing the chest a little bit more. Everybody has their own preference. Yeah. Uh, and you go down until your chest touches the floor. Now, if you have compromise of some kind in your shoulders or your elbows, you maybe can't get down that far, and maybe in the beginning you can't. But it's important to do a full range. So even if you can only do one, going all the way down to the floor, 
And in fact, this picture shows the gal touching. Mm -hmm. And they say you should be able to actually lift your arms up there. Without That's how falling. low you, yeah, mm -hmm. without falling. So you, mm -hmm. you, you know you're down at the bottom, and it's an important part of it. But they also talk about it, you know, how to start. So maybe you'll just want to start by doing the push-ups against the surface. Against well, that's, yeah, when you're talking about uh, maybe it's too much, your body weight's too much, you can do something like this. Where you start you, with that. You, you start with that, mm -hmm. and you can go a little bit farther down. Here's another picture. Oh, all of a sudden, I can't access it. Okay. Oh, here's another one right here. Yeah, now that one's an advanced. That's definitely an advanced one. And if you go farther than that, we have one here where you're actually against an object, maybe the, uh, maybe the wall of some kind. And then even to get more advanced than that, you can actually just do a handstand and do things. I've never got to this point, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I can do the push-ups and I can do yeah, the handstands. But the point like is that, that. that the push-up motion is very good for your body. Yeah. And uh, and you can do it with, you know, I, what I like about all of these exercises, they don't require special equipment. And that's the key. And that's the primal part of it for mm -hmm. me. You know, you don't need any equipment. You can do this around your house. Yeah, we have a, a tall kind of a dresser or a slash armor type yeah. in the bedroom. And that's Generally, I start with that, and then I go down to the countertop in the island, mm -hmm. you know, which is lower. Yeah. And, and uh, depending on, you know, some days you feel stronger than others, yeah. too, which is interesting. Well, everything goes through a cycle, and mm -hmm. we have the moon that, that controls all the cycles and the fluids of our body. And mm -hmm. I find myself, uh, in, even doing the Wim Hof breathing method, sometimes I can go to three minutes, sometimes I go to two minutes. Mm -hmm. Every day is different, and it really, I think, it depends on your stress level. The higher the stress, the less, the less you're able to do. Yes, yeah, and that's true of life in general. You know, <laughs> you better believe the it. more stress you have, the more negative energy going around in your head. The weaker you are physically. That's so. right. So the next one they mention here is sit-ups or crunches, and that's a simple crunch. Here's a more advanced one. I guess the simple one might be up here. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the crunch starts in a simple movement, that's, and that's a double movement there. That, the that's, that's a sit-up slash crunch. Yeah. The sit-up is just without the legs moving. You know, you, yeah, there you bend go, your right. knees, there, there, there right you there. go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and you don't have to come up all the way and sit, but there are movements that you can do and go up all the way, too. Yeah. But the basic crunch sit-up really starts like that. Well, a crunch basically is what describes, you know, you roll your body up just a little, and you tighten your muscles in your torso and and so on and then you go back down and a, and a sit up is you come all the way up to that's your right. knees that's okay. right yeah and you should do it with your knees bent yes that way you're using your stomach muscles so, yeah. and not your psoas muscle right. which is the, the problem for sure uh -huh. so the next basic movement are toe touches well no the, well, just before you go to that they mm -hmm. do add the, uh, you know, elbow to the opposite knee. As, oh, yeah. Yeah, there's variations a, of these things. And then this, that'll be in the article here. So uh -huh. you can twist your body, uh, do what they call a cyclist, where you're going from one side to the other side as right. you're coming up. Uh -huh. Yeah, those things are cool. Uh -huh. So these are basically toe touches. And this is the way I like to start, too, is on your back. So when we come back, let's go over this. Yeah. We'll be right back. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. 
TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large-cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the fund is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. And welcome back. Uh, sorry for the uh, problem with the uh, not seeing the pictures. Uh, it was my fault. I pressed the wrong button. Here's a picture of a crunch. Uh, I'm not going to go backwards. I'm going to go forward. And we were talking about the toe, toe touches. touches. Yeah. yeah. And this is uh, laying on the back. This is a form of a crunch, too. Yes, it is. Yes, it so is. So these are really important. So instead of trying to touch your toes standing, this is a better way to do it. Your well, spine saves is protected. your back. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. So it's a really I was important part. Thinking about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's many variations of this. Uh, there's some isometric things you can do like this. Uh, just that's holding. A, yeah, that's so, used to strengthen your core. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of these are hold really. your leg up. Yeah, these off are all the core exercises, mm -hmm. and they're really, really important. Mm -hmm. And then some straddles, things like these. These are basic movements we all need to do. Uh, this is kind of a hurdler's stretch. Well, I don't know. This one is described as you know, get into that position and then jump it and switch legs. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, well, it, yeah, it's an active stretch, and they call them mountain climbers. Right. So you start in the plank position, you move one foot forward, and then you kind of switch them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let me see if i got a picture of that actually happening. Some of these don't seem to yeah, work too well. Yeah, up too well. Yeah. Okay, the other, huh? definitely not working well anymore. <laughs> That's the way live shows are, folks. So burpees, uh, you start in the standing position, bend down in a crouching position, you shoot your feet so you're in a plank position, so you shoot yourself out and you're in a push-up position kind of thing. You drop fully to the ground, do a flat on your stomach, so that's the push-up. You push up back into the plank position and then you jump to your feet and then you jump as high as you can. It's called the burpees. And that's yeah. the way you start. I don't know if we'll let us go through this. <laughs> Why is that? Though? I don't know. I don't know. They're <laughs> against us this morning, honey. Yeah. <laughs> so burpees, anyway, you can look that up. Uh, let's uh -huh. see if i got a final picture here, maybe. Yeah, just that one. Well, it's in the article, so if you get the newsletter, you got it. Yeah. Box jumping. This is really, really something. And I've seen people jump as high as they are. In other words, you know, standing maybe this high, but you can start small, and I would suggest maybe starting at this level here and then going up as you go. But these are important things. This is a real dynamic move, and it really strengthens your whole body, and it gives you a lot of confidence and balance. Yeah. So that's really yeah. important. But I think you have to start slow and, and low. Yeah, no doubt about <laughs> it. And, uh... 
Yeah, so these are some of the basic movements that uh, we've all probably gotten to know and stuff like that. But I think as we get uh, more advanced in the things and try to figure out what this thing is all about, I think you go into things like the benefits of hanging for strength training and mobility. Now, one of the hardest things to do is a pull-up, I right. think. Even, you know, yeah, backwards, your forwards. Weight, yeah, right. your whole body weight. And a lot of people are t intimidated by it. And the first time you try it, you probably won't even do, be able to do one. But as you go along and you go real slowly, you'll find out you gain strength doing it. But one of the primary ways of doing this is actually just hanging, just going there and just letting your feet dangle. And now you just hang as long as you can and you do some breathing and you'll do it for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds uh, after you get used to this. And this really builds strength and it's really good for your shoulders. But it's, it's interesting too because it talks about how um, this, the author of this article in fact had some shoulder tendonitis but then he started doing hanging exercises and it helped his tendonitis. Yeah. So it, that, that's interesting, and of course it helps your grip strength, just yeah, holding on to the it bar. it definitely does that, and that's one of the reasons I started doing it, because in jiu-jitsu you need uh -huh. your grips. Uh -huh. Now, how to hang, there's a couple of, there's a positive, uh, what they call a passive dead uh, weight, uh, dead uh -huh. hang. Lift. <laughs> Can't even talk. So this is where you let everything just kind of stretch, and you're just noticing that everything stretches out and you're making yourself as long as possible. And it helps, it also helps stretch out your backbone a bit. Exactly, it's really good for the spine, things like that. Then there's another one called the active hang. So now you're actively holding the shoulders and the elbows into a strong position so you're not letting it go to the maximum uh, flexibility. You're actually Extension. holding it in place. Yeah. You're not, you're not extending all the way? That's right. Okay. And this is an important part too. Okay. So you, you can you do both of these. Right? Well, you know, and what else is important here is that we, we've, we sit too long at the computer, or we sit too long in front of the TV, or mm -hmm. we sit in the one position and we don't move, and right. plus all the tension and the stress builds up in your shoulders, yeah. and you end up with a situation in which Okay, Tom's on the phone. Okay. And you end up in a situation in which you're starting to lose the mobility mm -hmm. in your shoulders. You can't, there are people who can't do that. So you have to, you want to be sure that you're doing something to stretch out those muscles and, yeah. and keep your flexibility. And he says, so here, help, I can't hang from a bar yet. Well, the, the thing is, is that you can put a little something underneath you, put a little weight on your legs so yeah, you're not just, using just the full weight. So let you your body small. drop down without right. being off the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Switching the different grips, going from a forward grip to a backwards grip or even a pistol grip if you have something that you can hold on to that way that, that uh, you know strengthens every part. You can do a, a grip where one is reversed. This all feels weird in the beginning, but when you start doing it, then you know, of course, you get proficient at it. You, you know, have a close I'm, grip here, mm -hmm. and you also have the wide grip. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I haven't tried it lately with my arthritis in mm -hmm. my fingers, and I'm just wondering, I, I'm going to try it just to see what my grip is like. Yeah, and also stand on something and just oh, let yeah, yourself yeah, go a yeah, little bit. Yeah. And then there's the one arm grip here. Mm -hmm. I've done this a little bit, but I'm really not strong enough to hang for more than 10 seconds like that. Mm -hmm. And then hanging on different objects, really important. If you're a climber, you're used to this type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's important to understand that, uh, you know, your grip changes with the surface that you're trying to grip. And if you're in a difficult situation where you need to be able to pull yourself up from anything mm -hmm. and your life depends on it, it's really important to practice these things. Adding a swing, there's a little video of here, swinging and I do this. You start off slowly, naturally. Oh, I never, I never swung that way. I never, I always, no, I always never, do it the other way. You have That's never cool. swung sideways. I have never swung sideways. <laughs> so there's a lot of activity here, going forwards and backwards, swinging, hanging drills. In other words, doing sets of these is important, where you, okay, I can only hang for 30 seconds, hang for 20 seconds. Rest for 20 seconds, do another one for 20 seconds, and this is the way you build it up. It's just like any other exercise, uh -huh. important. Uh -huh. So how to incorporate hanging into your dive? Well, you just find something to hang on, basically. Yeah, we have a bar outside on the yeah. deck. 
Then right. you can find things that you can hook over doors. You can uh -huh. actually use a door, just put a towel over it so you don't hit your hands if there's a sharp edge. Oh. Uh, so, no, I don't recommend a door because you can pull it off the hinges too. Well, you have to have it? a good door, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right about that. That's for sure. But, you know, there are ways of, there are bars that you can put in a doorway. That's right. Yeah. yeah. There's plenty of activity around. So, yeah. when we get back from the break, we'll go back, uh, we'll go into this further, but we have Tom on the line. So, when we get back, we'll uh, see Tom in Tampa. He has a question about the primal edge. So, stick around, folks. We've got a lot more, and uh, we will be back in uh, just a couple of minutes. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. And we have Tom from Tampa on the line. To, uh, has a question about Primal Edge. Hey, you out there, Tom? How you doing? Hey, good, Nico. How you doing? Great. What's up, Ellen? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, I've got a question for you, Nico. I'm going to be getting a colonoscopy in a week, and uh, they're telling me no vitamins. You know, one week before. You know how they do that with colonoscopy? Yeah. You know, yeah. I guess most. Yeah. Uh, you think that would include the Primal Edge on something like that? I would say probably would. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah they just don't want to interfere with anything that uh, maybe thins your blood out or maybe something else is in there. So, yeah, I would be right. careful for sure. Right. Hey, that transveratrol uh, that you guys uh, talked about uh, back a few weeks ago, yeah. is, is, is that basically like N- NMN with resveratrol, if you're already on those two? Is that pretty much equate to that? Or I, no, I guess the, what... what the uh, resveratrol does is boosts the NMN. It okay. boosts it about yeah, 100 it's... fold. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. they work on the same thing, but uh, one boosts the other, and that's why we take both. Got it. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks well, enjoy the show, me. man. Okay, <laughs> thanks a lot. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Always nice to have a caller on the line. Uh, now, the next step in hanging really is the benefits for the spine, hanging upside down. Upside and down. Yeah, and this is something I've done. Uh, I've got a bar there. I just kind of put my legs over there. used to have a uh, little machine. That, yeah, an inverter. Those work pretty well, too. But unlike surgery, mechanical traction and other invasive, uh, invasive forms of treatment, like using a yoga swing, is a gentle and passive way to target pain at the source. And it really takes care of your joints. Now, This form of traction, and this is actually a traction, allows each joint to be compressed by the same weight that compresses it while you're upright. So to put it simply, inverted decompression creates an ideal stretch that improves spinal health and targets the back pain by helping rehydrate the discs, reduce nerve pain, realign the spine, relax the tense muscles, and best of all, decompressing only takes a few minutes and feels really good. Yeah, so but the bottom line is that when you're hanging upside down, all the weight that compresses the spine, the spinal column, and, uh, and it's taken off. is the it's opposite, is pulling it loose, exactly. and it, so that relieves Yeah, the, and it's done in the same manner. In other words, it's, uh, you're using the same muscles to do both, and that's an important part of exercise. You have to exercise both part of the muscles, both the pushing and the pulling, uh-huh. and this uh, you know, uh, does that. One of the important parts of that, it rehydrates the discs. Clinical studies show that when inverted, the separation between the vertebrae increases. This allows for absorption of moisture into the soft tissue of the discs, increasing the nutrient content as well as plumbing the discs for plumping. better shock. Plumping. Plumping the discs for better shock absorptions <laughs> and flexibility. Yeah, and the, and the point is that whenever you're doing anything that's weight-bearing, which would be everything you do, sitting, sitting standing, standing, exercising, right, yeah. right. Uh, the fluid gets squeezed out of those discs, right. and that's where, and it goes into the adjacent soft tissue, so your discs lose some of the height. Right. You actually get a little bit shorter. Yeah. And yeah. actually, if you stand up and you kind of just go up as high as you can, you can see you can grow a couple of inches. It's uh-huh. amazing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So when you are lying down, the compression <laughs> in the spine is reduced enough to allow discs to slowly reabsorb moisture and nutrition over many hours while you sleep. However, the discs may not always maintain their full height capacity, creating a total accumulation of height loss of up to two inches in a lifetime. Yeah, and so this is why people shrink. You yeah, know, yeah. So you're so. shrinking, but well, you're actually not shrinking. <clears throat> the interesting thing too is that the effects of stress and um, uh, adversity in your life will also end up pushing you down. It's like the weight of the world. And no doubt about it. You don't stand up straight. Just some, somebody saying something to you that you don't like or bad to you, you kind of feel yourself getting yeah, cringing. inward, it, cringing it, in yeah, a way. Yeah, yeah. Right. and it's, it's hard, and I have to remind myself to, to you know, shake that off and stand up straight mm-hmm. and sit up straight and, and breathe deeply. And, because also what happens when you're hunched over or you're compressed your lungs are not fully inflating, and you're not getting the full oxygenation mm-hmm. of your body. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so it also reduces nerve pressure. The height of the discs, uh, discs uh, rel- uh, relates to the size of the passageway for the nerve roots to exit from the spinal column. So a plumbing hydrated a disc. <laughs> plump. You're Keep saying that. that. I know. I'm just plump. racing too much. That's for sure. <laughs> That's why I need you. Yeah, well, a plump hydrated disc creates the maximum clearance, so it alleviates pressure and pinching of the nerve root. Right. And there's a bunch of nerves going through that spine. Oh, you know, yeah. Everything runs your whole yeah, body, for yeah, sure. Yeah. also helps realign the spine. So mm-hmm. uh, a lot of times I'm sitting there and I'm reading something, and you come by to me, and he says, honey, you're all crooked. 
Yeah. You know, and I have to realign myself. And this is one of the things that the damages that is done while, you know, during this COVID thing, this last year, where we've been sitting more, reading more. Well, the worst part is that we're, we're sitting in front of devices like this yeah. instead of putting the device up a little bit so yeah. that it, you can read it without uh, bending over, without, you see, everybody's getting that curvature of the spine. Yeah. And, so these types of things really do help everything. And uh, during these COVID times when stress is high and you're not sure when it's going to end, we need to do these things. So when you're home, think of some of these things. Go through some of these articles and start doing some of these things because they really do work. And these are all primal movements. It's very, very important. Yeah, and they, and they talk about, use, you know, how do you hang upside down? That, well, there are... There are ways of doing it without actually literally physically hanging upside down from well, head have, to toe. Yeah, they have the inverter mm -hmm. thing, but you can also just lay on the couch, put your feet up on the top. Yeah, and, and let your head hang down a little yeah, bit on the exactly. side. exactly. So there's many ways of doing this. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you, when you start reading the article, they show a lot of things. And there's another article here that shows kids on the couch. Just like I said, you know, mm -hmm. they got their head uh, down their head near down. the floor right. and the feet up on the top. And mm -hmm. I remember my parents used to yell at me for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way you sit on the couch. That's right. <laughs> So one of the well, things here, of course, uh, this relaxes your muscles and this relieves stress. And, and that's a really important part today that yeah, we know of. But also, again, this article talks about core strength and, and the importance of doing crunches and sit-ups and, and all the things we talked about in the first yeah. article. And important of uh, improving your joint health, increasing your flexibility. And these movements, as easy as they are, they all do that. They improve your fitness. They, they build your core. Remember, when you're upside down, you're using your stomach muscles. Mm -hmm. You know, So we revert back to those crunches and touching your toes and things like that. But these things do very similar things. Yeah, and, and then they talk about back pain in general. I mean, so many people have back pain these days. Right. There, there's another article that talks about the percentage of people um, that that actually have back pain, and it's quite high. And uh, so it's the idea is to rehydrate the disc, reduce the nerve pressure, realign your spine, and relax the tense muscles, all of which are con are contributing to the back pain. Yeah, and back pain is really caused by gravity in a way. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we're mm -hmm. always have that load on us, the weight on us. So we have to relieve that. And I think Primal Man did that just because of his lifestyle, climbing right. and running sure. and things like that. Mm -hmm. We need to incorporate this so we do it on a regular basis. Uh, there's other, art, art, other things in here about how to take care of your distance, stuff like that. So read that. And we will be back in a few minutes. So stick around, folks. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. 
The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So we've been talking in this show about exercise and fitness and things you can do to strengthen your body and what, what the benefits are in terms of your back, your shoulders, your, your entire body function, mm -hmm. uh, anti-gravity effects. And uh, we now have an article, Seven Reasons Why You Should Do Headstands and Handstands Daily. And a headstand is the, quote, king of all yoga poses. And so is a handstand. Well... You know, it's it's interesting. I was I was very interested to read all these articles and and they they talk about what's the benefit of a headstand or handstand, and they talk about improving the blood flow to the eyes, head, and scalp, and that uh, there it sends nutrient rich blood and extra oxygen to your head. This also means more of it gets to your eyes and can and can help you prevent macular degeneration and other eye issues. With increased blood flow to the head, your body also delivers extra nutrients and oxygen to, to your scalp. So that helps your hair follicles. Yeah. You no, know, I, I was thinking I should, I would want to, I wanted to do a headstand a few months ago. And I, you know, I've been having this little bit of vertigo that we had talked about a while mm -hmm. back. And things like when I, if I'm getting a facial or something, when I sit up from the table, I have to sit for a minute because I feel dizzy. Mm -hmm. Um the uh so i decided i'm going to do a headstand and i went to do it but i just bent over to get down to the ground and i got so dizzy i had to stop mm -hmm. so what was that from do you think well it could be blood pressure uh, you're not you're not, not doing the movements on a regular basis so you know it's in the beginning it's a, kind of a daunting thing the pressure on your head uh, you know, so you need to put something down so the head yeah. isn't on a cement floor or something like that. Uh, I recommend that hands. if you're going to do handstands and headstands and things like that, inversions, to have a spotter. Yes. Have somebody there to mm -hmm. help you, to mm -hmm. make you feel at ease. It's a daunting thing. I remember the first time I hung upside down. I didn't want to let go of the bar. Mm -hmm. You know, my feet were just kind of hanging there. I wasn't strapped in or anything like that. And I was, I asked you, I remember mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, just be there for me as a spotter. Mm -hmm. And then once I got used to it, oh, this is no big deal. And boom, I'm down. So starting any of these things, uh, a spotter is an, uh, a very important thing. But also just realize this is a progression. You're not going to be able to do it very long in the beginning. It's going to be uncomfortable. Uh, your hands may be too weak. Your neck might be too weak. There's a lot of things going well, on Well, I there. wouldn't start with a, head, with a handstand. I would start with a headstand, which is supporting yeah. your head and, and gives you more support with your arms. And I think it's easier for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, and I started doing head headstands against a wall mm -hmm. that's the best way to do it i think and uh, or a person can stand i've had it i've spotted people by putting my foot behind their head 
and then having my hands up to catch their legs, mm -hmm. helping guide them up. Yeah. And just being, well, there's, my body being the... Yeah, just like anything else, there's techniques to handstands. There's easy ways to get in them. Uh, I find it pretty easy to get into a handstand. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just need to be shown how. Practice the beginning part where you're kind of resting on your elbows. Before Jump at a headstand. Yeah, yeah, headstand. Headstand. Uh, handstand, a little different. You just kind of invert into it. But it's definitely more, more difficult. But there's big benefits to this, and this is why I brought it up. It improves things like your digestion. It increases your focus. It strengthens your core. It stimulates the lymphatic system. So these are all really good reasons to do this. Yeah, and <laughs> turning your body upside down just gets everything going in the other direction. Yeah. And that we're talking about your blood and in your and the lymph system and right. all of the fluids that are in your body that are then subject to gravity in the opposite direction. Right. So the next article I have here is why you should do a master the handstand before even attempting a headstand. And this is actually completely opposite what I yeah, would think. Yeah, yeah. Because I think the headstand is a little bit uh, easier. But let's see what she says about this. The idea of staying for uh, 31 forever, blah, blah, blah. It's just an introduction. Once you get feeling having your ha uh, legs over your head and finding the balance there, then you can move to the headstands. You won't be able to do hold a handstand, but you'll be able to practice them enough to get comfortable with it. And that's the thing I found that with a handstand, uh, you're not used to the weight on your hands upside down like that. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit uh, tricky in the beginning. And... Uh, the way to get into it is cartwheel into it and cartwheel out of it, that type of thing. So you're in there just for a little, well, little bit of time. Well, yeah, use your legs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Cartwheel is a different meaning for me. Well, it shows her yeah. doing the handstands I, you and know, using shoes. Yeah, which she's is cool. using shoes. Like that. And that also gives her a much bigger base than just your hands. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and plus she's in front of a wall there, so... You know, you can do this in front of a wall, no problem, and that way you have some place to go if you start to uh, to tip. Maybe a mattress on each side. Yeah. <laughs> that type of thing. Yeah. A safety net. <laughs> yeah, anything like that. But uh, again, you know, uh, if you take yoga classes, you're going to get involved in these types of things, and yoga would be a great place to start because now you have perfect instructions. They'll also start. Uh, you know, if you're starting a yoga class from the beginning, you're going to have all these primary movements before you even get to the headstand, sure. sure. because this is definitely much more advanced stuff. But I really invite people to dabble into this because it's important uh, not only for the health but your mind getting the confidence and the balance together is very important and if you're doing any kind of mobility as far as walking and things like that and as you get older we know that mobility becomes a problem yeah and if you're not doing exercise on a regular basis you're going to just slowly slowly deteriorate and you really don't notice it where all of a sudden now you're 80 and you don't have much mobility you can't do much anymore or because you, you have never done it you bent down to get something and you can't get back up yeah, again I mean, you know there. squatting down just squatting down is something that you know i have to work on my legs and mm -hmm. making sure that I'm still making those movements. And squats is the primary movement of the human beings. I mean, we do that to go to the bathroom. Not anymore because we have toilets, but, mm -hmm. you know, we used to go down all the way. It's an important movement. It's important for the whole digestive system to be aligned like that. When mm -hmm. you're just down halfway, things get crimped, so it's not healthy. Uh, the squat itself, you can use, uh, you know, like a kitchen counter. You can use a pole to get down and maybe stay down for a while to get that flexibility. A lot of people have trouble just getting into a squat position. Right. And it's the most primal position there is. Uh, it's the way most people in the world sit, not on chairs, just in a squat. Well, and the, they're very comfortable there. Yeah, and, and the other thing is that it doesn't take long to build up the strength to be able to actually do more. That's you know, true. it just takes a little, you got to start. And once you start, just do a couple of reps. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, do a couple of reps. And then the next day, maybe add another couple. Yeah. And, 
you know, there's no reason why you have to do 50 squats at one time when you're starting out. Well, in the beginning you can anyway, and you'd right. hurt yourself if you did. That's so right. that's not smart. But, but you start but with you hurt five. Yourself and, by by having unrealistic expectations as yeah, well, yeah. you know, so just... Well, a good way to regulate with a squat is you go, go into a deep squat, you go as deep as you can, and you stay down as long as you feel comfortable and go back up, and that's, you do five. Mm -hmm. And then as you feel comfortable, you do more. Mm -hmm. We've got deeper. one more segment, so we'll be right back, folks. Stick around. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. So this last article we have is Box Breathing, how to use this military technique to relieve stress. And certainly uh, during the COVID times, there's a lot of stress. The uh, vaccines have rolled out. We just heard uh, about the Johnson & Johnson having some problems, and they're pulling that back. So anxiety is high no matter which way you look at it, whether you're for the vaccines or not for the vaccines or whatever. You need to relieve some stress. And this is another type of breathing exercise that the military apparently use. I didn't know that. But I've used this, and it's a... It's basically a four-second thing. You breathe in for four seconds, you hold for four seconds, you breathe out for four seconds, and you hold for four seconds, and you just do that over and over again. And this structure uh, tends to relieve stress. It uh, is really an important part of yoga. They use this in yoga. It comes from the ancient Indian. Uh, from the, from uh, pranayama yoga, uh, it's the Ayurvedic form of breath work. Uh, mm -hmm. That's where it got its uh, beginning. 
helps you relax, increases your oxygen in intake, and releases uh, stress. It stimulates the vagus nerve. Vagus. Vagus nerve, which is the longest nerve in the body and starts in the brain. One of its main functions is to slow the symp sympathetic stress process. So just think about it, you. Four seconds in, the hold. Four seconds out, and you're all doing this without stress. The yeah, really yeah, important yeah, part of breath work is not to, you know, do it as much as you can. It's just you got to do it on a passive level, you know. So. Yeah, and and uh, it, it's uh, the counting has some kind of relaxing yes. uh, function. And they also suggest you set a timer for five minutes and just do the breathing for five minutes. Yeah, so when so the you're timer not goes off, you're not you're counting doing. and, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. You just do it, you can, so, and you can peek at the timer if you yeah. want. <laughs> and here's a few more suggestions. It says uh, sit with a straight spine on the floor uh -huh. or in a chair with your feet flat. Feet flat. Uh -huh. Close your eyes and inhale for the count of four. Hold your breath for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. And hold for a count of four. And then yeah. repeat until the alarm sounds. Yeah. Do that, folks, and you're relieving your stress. Okay, and uh, have a great week, and yeah. we'll see you next week. Thanks for sticking around, folks. Bye-bye. The reality 